Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. This is tutorial mostly will be about Dynama. So we can say this is will be Dynama and Geometry for beginner. In this tutorial I will show you how you can create the sum shape with Dynama and how you can manipulate with that as you can see right now. On the back side we can easily manipulate with all of that parameter and how it works you will see in this tutorial. So if you are interesting to see how it's working so join this tutorial, don't forget about likes and share and I will show you how it works like. Let's get started. As always I will start from the my scratch project. As you can see here I'm using the Revit 2020 version and let's create the new project. I just will create the new project, doesn't matter which template you will use, we need only Dynamo for our tutorial today. So when you will uh, open your project Let's go to the manage and here you will find Dynamo. Let's open up Dynamo. I think my version is 2.2, .2, but uh, I will check it right now and we will see exactly what version I'm using right now. Help about and here 2.3. So this is standard version for the 2020 Revit. If you have 2020 Revit, it's already 2.3, but it doesn't matter actually because we will use the some vanilla tools from the Revit from the Dynama to create this tutorial. Let's create the new and here we are and we will start from the scratch. We will start from the dots. If you join my tutorial on the Udemy, the link you will find below the video. You already know I really like use the points to explain what's going on on your screen. So let's find here the point, point by coordinates, here it is. And as you can see for this point, as you can see it here, if I will select it, it's this point. We have three different axes, three different coordinates, X, Y, Z. So let's I will explain fast. Right click, let's find the slider. We need just number slider, number slider, and I will sh show you how it works. X, it's moving here to X position. As you can see, this is red line, this is X. If you will use the Y, this is green position. I don't think so you can see properly or no, but this is green one. So as you can see, it's green one. And as you understand Z, this is our height. So now you already know. So let me I will show you one more time this one this x this one it's y and this one it's h or z up to you i prefer to use the h because uh, this exactly understandable what is that so this is height okay so we done with one point and actually we need few more points one point it's not enough for us we want more the thing is we want to create 10 points from this direction as you already know this x direction we want to create one point second third and till let's say 10 so we need 10 points we can actually create the 10 nodes but it's not so professional it's not so useful because you will mistake somewhere but we can use the massive so we can say x something and inside something will be 10 points so this is what we will do. So let's do that. Uh, we need just mm, using the point number code block, just double click, left double click like this and you will get the code block. And let's say here, the, let's write here just for now one. And if you will look inside like that, you will see now we have only one number inside. But if you will do two dots and 10, you will get 10 points. Yes, you can say this is not actually 10, this is 9, but no, and Brevit and Dynamo and any program counting from the 0. And as you can see 0 and 9, it will be exactly 10. That's why uh, I'm starting from the, uh, from the 0, but it doesn't matter, we still have here the 1 until the 10. And these two dots, it means from 1 to somewhere. So it means from 1 to 10. For example, if you want to count each second number, you need again use two dot and say each which number you want to use. If you will say one, it's nothing change. As you can see, it's by the one, as you can see. If you will say two, now each two counting. So one, three, five, seven, nine. If you will say three, you will see one, four, seven, ten. I think if I think you got the point, if you will even will say one point five, you will see the this picture. One, two point five, four, 
4.5.5. So this is like making your life much most easiest. If you want to know more about how to use the code block, so as I said, join my tutorial on Udemy. This is already a tutorial I did like uh, maybe half a year ago and it's really popular. You can uh, just, I don't know, buy this tutorial and you will know about the code blocks and about the tricks in Dynama, everything I think. So okay, we will done, we will say from the 1 to 10, we need only 10 numbers. So let's connect 10 to the X and voila, you can see we get 10 numbers. Why we get the 10 numbers, you will say, because inside this code block we have 10 numbers. So inside one code block, now we have the 10 numbers. If when it's going to inside the our point coordinates, it's always uh, placing. For example, let's I will show you. Uh, it's always placing on the your uh, board. Let's say one is going to the Z, and it's here. Two going to the Z, and it's here, and it's counting till the numbers not will finish. So one by one, one by one. So this is really important for us. So we done this our X. Uh, coordinate and now we understand like how to place uh, more than one points but we wanna make something like a wave so how we can do that wave as you already understand we should place the z direction because each dot have the z direction right so you can say like we can just copy this code block connect to the z but what we get we will get just the line why we get the line the same thing because one will as you can see, this is X1 and this one H1 and this point is here. And I, after that it's going to the X2 and this number 2 it's X, oh, I mean the H2 and this is here. So it's not going like the cosine, but we should use the cosine as you can see understand. So that's the time when you should use geometry from the school in real practice. So if you whenever saying like uh, why I need to learn these uh, formulas, so this is the time to start to learn because we need it. So let's I will show you how it works. But before we will start manipulate with our Z direction, let's delete this code block because it's not useful for us. We will use another type of the code block. Let's say this is, will be sequence. Let's find the sequence. Sequence. Oh, sequence. This is here. As you understand from the name of this node, uh, we will get the some sequence of the number. For that one, we need just a slider. Let's modify our slider. Our slider will be work, let's say, from the minus 10. Uh, range and till the 10 and let's say the step will be 0 0.1 why not we will leave as it is and we will start from the minus 10 so I will change the number minus 10 so this is our first slider and we will call it like start start number start start H start age just it will be understandable for us so start age it start height and it will be start one now we need the second one it will be amount, so how many the dots we want, I mean the, how many dots will be going on this side. As you can understand, number is will be the same. Here is 10 and here amount will be 10. We have a lot of ways how we can put here the number. We can, for example, create the slider and connect to the amount or we can create another style slide and it will be called the count. Let's find the count and here is the count. Its count will be connected to our pri primary block and as you can see here inside we get the 10. So you no need to be mentioned, you no need to be worried if you will change the numbers, uh, I mean the uh, the amount of the points. For example, you know one a 10, you will create a 20. You know you no not need to mention it's changed here or no, it will change automatically. So let's connect the count to the amount. And as you can see, now we get 10 numbers. As you can see, we get 10 numbers from the minus 10 to the 1. And this is what I want actually. So the next thing I want to use the step. Because it's not interesting going to the each one, I mean the one point. I interesting going to the, for example, each second one or each even third one. So for that one I need one more slider. Let's use one more slider. And that one will be, here I will change only step because it will be just uh, by one. And now we need the step connect to the here so now we can use the numbers as you can see 
it's now changing to whatever you want but let's say this is, will be from the 1 to the 5 this will be enough for us okay let's connect it and now what we're gonna do now we need to uh, combine this coordinate and these sequences but we cannot just connect sequences to the z direction because we will get again the line we need the as i said before we need to get the wave so this is cosine let's find here the cos cosine so it's here and let's connect our sequences to the angle what we get as you can see 0 0.8 0 0.9 and here again 0 0.8 I mean 9, 8, 9, 7, 9, 5, and here 9, 8, 9, 9, so this is what we want. But the number, it's really low, it's really, it's like around 1, it's changing really not a lot. We just need multiply, how we can do that, just let's say x, uh, apply 50, it will be okay for us. Let's connect to this code block, x, this is cosine, I mean this is a result from this list. Uh, you can write, I don't know, here not x, something else, it doesn't matter, the x, just uh, something will connect to this point. And what we get inside this code block, let's see, let's open, and as you can see, 49, 49, 49, something like that, it's not interesting again. So let's change the side, let's do like this, and now it's more interesting, as you can see we get more interesting result let's connect now this cosine to the x direction and as you can see we get the wave so this is our wave actually so now let's manipulate with that now let's increase the numbers not it's not will be 10 i will say this is will be till 20 why not let's do the 20 numbers and as you can see this is 20 numbers now we have and we can increase the amount of the dots for example here it was like each two and now let's say, maybe we'll change the sequence 0 0.0005 and let's see how it's changing. Yes, it's changing, but you cannot see anything properly, right? You will see it right now. So here we get point with the, each point have their own coordinate, but we get 20 points. So what we're gonna do is that, actually we can create the line. So let's create the line. We need the line. And here you will find a lot of different line. We need just by control points or just by points. As you can see here is in, in going to the input only the points. And we have here only the points. So this is the reason we will use that one. As you can see only connect the point to point and done. And done. Here is the line. And now let's manipulate with that. So we, whenever you will manipulate as you can see it's going around. Pretty nice. Pretty nice I think. You can change your start position as you want and as you can see it's waving so pretty awesome so what if you want to create as i did the shape just copy this code block just go you can do whatever you want you can copy it you can uh, place one more to the another one so it's only up to you i will just copy and i will change only the y direction so let's go let's change the y direction let's say this is will be 10 and let's connect to the y direction and what we get here the second wave so we have two lines, as you can see when I selected these lines, it's on the blue color. It means this one is the first one and that one is the second one. And now we can create some surface. Let's create the some surface. The easiest for surface we can create from the noobs curve, this is loft. Let's create the loft. Here is the loft, as you can see it's going inside again curves and we get here the curves. But the problem, we cannot connect two curves in one. Actually, we can, because as you understand from the points, we should get the list of the curves. How we can get the list of the curves? Of course, we should find the list create. So here is going one item and we get inside one item. If you will include the second one, now we have two items inside and now connect these two items to the cross line and we get the shape. Let's I will make the, my shape more interesting. Uh, I will rotate it a bit and I will show you how it works like so let's do on this side and let's go back to the, our coding and let's change for example our waving so we're changing the waving yeah it's a bit slowly now working because now it's with geometry but as you can see it's changing the waving like you can change for like, like that and after that you can change even the type of the wave or you can go back and change this wave and I'll say like it will be more smaller so as you can see 
you can create the shape in Revit without Dynamo, but it will be hard to change it. But I mean, the, in Revit without Dynamo. But in Dynamo, you will create it like in few seconds. You will use the some mathematics. I mean the geometries, so the mathematics and geometry in uh, this tutorial, I think it's pretty close. Anyway, you can use your scholar knowledge to create something interesting. So just go around, open your old books like, and find some formulas and try to create in Dynamo. I think you will get pretty nice design. I think most of the architecture now thinking about the organic design, but organic design, this is about algebra, geometry, and high mathematics so do it and i think you will get nice result thank you guys for this tutorial by the way this is dynamo code block you will find below this video if you want to know more about dynamo join my tutorials on udemy and don't forget about like and share this video see you next time